The Portland Charter Commission has recommended voters approve a package of changes that most commission members believe will make the city a better place and run better. Voters will decide whether that's true or not in their opinion on November 8th. The recommendations could end up the could upend the current city council and it's starting to sound like some of the current council members are not loving that idea. What you say? The people in power not liking the way the power structure may change on them? Well, true. First, some quick background. The Charter Commission meets every 10 years to decide whether things need to change with Portland's form of government. This is one of those years. They've recommended that the number of city councilors expand from 4 to 12, and that instead of being elected from anywhere in the city, that the city be separated into four sections and three councilors be picked from each section. The way they're elected would change as well. Instead of winner take all, the new proposal would use ranked choice voting. In that version, voters pick the candidate they want to win, but also their second choice and then their third choice and so on. Another change would take city councilors out of their current role of managing big bureaus and instead they would just set policy for the city. The mayor would not vote with the councilors unless the mayor is needed to break a tie. Instead, the mayor and a professional city manager would run the city. Okay, so that's the background right there. Today, the city council got its first full briefing on this new package. Current mayor Ted Wheeler wanted to know why the Charter Commission didn't give the mayor veto power over policies the councils might pass. He seemed worried that if he disagreed, for example, with a policy, but tried to implement it anyway and then it failed, that they'd all just be blaming each other. And city councilor Migus Maps who, by the way, has a Ph.D. in government from Cornell University. Well, he didn't like the idea of multiple candidates being elected from multiple districts with that ranked choice voting. Here's a look at the way things went back and forth as he asked questions. I think it's fascinating to see maps and the charter commissioners jousting a bit. The person responding to him is Melanie Billings Yoon, who has her own Ph.D. Hers is from Harvard. The combination of reforms that uh, um the Charter Review Commission is proposing is um, unique, especially the multi-member districts and the ranked choice um, voting. I was just wondering if um, if the commission could point us to any other jurisdictions in America or even the world, frankly, um, that use both ranked choice voting and um, multi-member districts. Looks like no. Um, yeah, of uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, uh, and <laughs> Australia. Does Cambridge use, I'm pretty familiar with Cambridge, does Cambridge use multi, uh, multi-member multi districts? Yeah, well, they have a single district that is multi-member, yes. Well, I... It is a district with multi-members that are elected by ranked choice voting. How about, uh, can you, I, I used to live adjacent to, I used to live in Somerville, which is adjacent to uh, Cambridge, so I'm very familiar with the Cambridge. I used to there. live in Cambridge, seven years. Oh, really? I'm a Union Square guy. Uh, um, so I uh, miss it very much. In fact, I will be back there soon. Um, or should I ever get to take a vacation, which has not happened for years. Um, but uh, yeah, as you know, knowing Cambridge, you know, it, that is essentially a single uh, 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 political unit. It's a town that uh, um, used ranks choice voting. I think the more interesting dynamic, which I'm still trying to get some uh, intuition over, is what, what happens when you have, let's say, four... <sighs> For multi-member districts, is there a place? Uh, is there some place uh, in America or outside of America that uses uh, both the ranked choice system and multi-member districts? There is in Australia. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a big expert on Australia right now, although I have looked into it, um, and I'd be happy to give you more information on that as we go along. But I don't know if anyone wants to hear me talking here at length on Australia. Um, I will say that there was a report put out by the Parliament of Australia saying that this system uh, increased the chances of minor parties and independents winning seats. Uh, voters had more freedom to target a non-performing MP and this system provided no safe, safe seats for complacent or tired party members. I don't know about you, I'm kind of a policy government wonk. I think that stuff's fascinating, it goes back and forth. That went on for a bit. And then another Charter Commission member pointed out that Cornell, Maps University where he got his PhD, Cornell recently came out with a study reporting that ranked choice voting and multiple districts produces fairer outcomes. Well, as time went on, it was clear that some of the city commissioners don't like parts of the package and wished that voters could cast their ballots on those different parts of the reform package instead of the whole thing. 
The answer was no, it cannot be broken up. It has to be now voted on all at once. City councilors also wondered if the reform package is rejected by voters. Could the councilors then later bring back the parts they like and put that in front of the voters for another try? The answer to that is yes. Charter Commissioner Rahi Reddy, though, warned against doing that. And I don't think everyday people that work every day and take their kids to school and have to pay bills can afford to wait any longer. And I just encourage you as city commissioners, I know you have your various pet peeves on, on what we've put together, uh, but in the big picture, in the grand scheme of things, I think you're gonna see we are going to be a better city because of these reforms. And I encourage you personally, as a commissioner who spent lots of hours away from her family to work on this, I encourage you to support and stand with us. I really do. Um, I don't know if we're allowed to say that, but I'm gonna say it because we have you in our in our eyes right now. Uh, this is good work. And I really hope you will help our city move forward uh, by lending your support by these reforms. So what do you think about all this? Are the commissioners just trying to hang on, those city council members, are they trying to hang on to power or do they have legitimate concerns? If you're a Portland voter, how are you leaning on this one? Send me an email, will you? Our address is the story at kgw.com. If you don't want to email, call and leave a voicemail. 503-226-5090.